Are you one like me who, when they get extremely heated, when they get fired up, they have to go and run their mouth and they have to stay on their ground and prove their point? May I submit to you today that sometimes that's not always the thing that we should be doing. And I wanted to lay this out with the story. We were playing in the championship basketball game and this lady on the other team was absolutely cooking us. She was draining shots like she was prime Stephen Curry. She was draining shots like she was prime Clay Thompson. It was absolutely phenomenal the way this girl was shooting the ball. She would drive. And what I found was is when a woman drives, it's kind of hard to really be a paint bully. You kind of feel bad. But at the same time, when it's a championship game, it's a bit different. You know the mentality of going into it. It's a championship game. I'm a competitive person. I want to win. This lady ended up jab stepping and driving the baseline around a defender. And I was so happened to be at the top of the key watching her jab step around. And when she made that step around, she was driving the basket. So my initial thought was I'm making a block on this play. I'm jumping no matter what she tries to do. And lo and behold, she tries to go for a floater, which she does. And I jump up. I feel like prime Michael Jordan jumping off the free throw line, man. I swear I've never jumped higher in my life. I really wanted to make a play on this basketball. You should have seen the way I jumped. I felt so high. Did I probably get that high? No. Uh, it is what it is. But when I jumped, I missed the ball and I came down on her. It was like she went this way and I went this way. So we both hit each other and I came down on her and she fell into the ground. Now I've had issues with this team in the past on, with one guy on their team who's always told me to calm down and we got into an argument because he was mad when I rolled the ball to check up with him. Petty stuff, it is what it is. But he came over to me and he told me we got to chill out and I said, brother, it's not that serious. We had this conversation last time and I got mad because they were freaking out and I said, listen, is it really that bad of me because is there anything in the rules that states that I can't make a play on the ball when someone's driving the baseline. There's nothing in the rule book that says I can't do this. It's a hard foul. It hurts. I get why she's shaking up, but there's nothing I can do about it. Are you really helping the situation by saying, let's calm down or we got to stop? It doesn't help the situation. And nobody can argue with logic. When I said that, nobody had anything to say because you can't argue with logic. You can't argue with facts. I was a bit disappointed in the way this guy acted and I had to go and run my mouth on the sidelines. There was things that I said that shouldn't have been said and I won't say what they are, but there was things that were said that I really shouldn't have said. Do I live with regrets? No. Should I have said it? No. Am I happy I said it? No. See, I was always looked down upon or I always felt like I was looked down upon when I was a kid. And especially for you people out there who feel like you're looked down upon, you always feel like you have to get the last word in or you have to stay on your ground, which I'm not against. Please, if you are in that situation where there's somebody pressing your opinion or there's somebody pressing the truth, absolutely fight back. Absolutely stay on your ground and press your truth. But times are different when you're playing sports and when you're heated and you go off and you say tangents. You know, coming from that person and I know exactly how you feel when you feel like you're lesser than somebody else. You feel like you have to say something. And sometimes if you want to be the bigger person, what you really have to do is not say a word. You know, truthfully and honestly, if you want to seem like the bigger person, if you want to seem like the smarter, more intelligent person, the best thing you can do for yourself is stay quiet. You know, we all know those videos online of Karen's freaking out with people and they always say that the more stupid person is the one that's screaming extremely loud. Is that you in a conversation? Let me challenge your thoughts today. What do you like in a conversation? Are you calm, cool, and collected and nobody can argue with your reason and your logic and your facts or are you freaking out and screaming at people? Because my message to you today is, is check the way that you talk to people. How do you communicate with people? How do you communicate when you're angry? How do you communicate when you feel like you've lost it? Because one thing I've noticed for myself actually after I've calmed down is that I no longer react to those emotions. See, emotions are so gripping and emotions are so fleeting because they're almost like this little hit of some drug. You know, we ride these emotions for a certain amount of time and we like to react on these emotions. You know, when something good happens in our life, we like to have more good happen in our life. And when something bad happens in our life, we like to act on that bad. You know, it's the saying goes, misery loves company. And it's very true, you know, especially for you athletes over there, when you're riding a wave and you're riding this high, you feel like you can't miss a shot. But what happens is, is we react on those emotions as we're humans, we're reactive beings. We like to react when things happen. Try your best to not react. How do you not react? Well, one thing I wanna to suggest to you is don't care about the situation. Don't care about how somebody says something. And this is all ironic coming for me because I just told you I lost it, but this is the first time I've had that situation happen to me in years. This is the first time that beast has come out. Mike Tyson said it perfectly. I'm scared of the man I once was. I don't want to let him out anymore. I'm scared of the man that I once was because I know what he's capable of and I know what he's going to do. So I do feel like I have all the room to talk on this. 
not taking things personally. You know, every time someone would come to say something to me or they would chirp me or they would say something bad about me, I always felt like it was a personal attack. You know, if you can refrain your mindset and think that we're all going to the grave, we're all going to die and his words mean nothing and I'm letting someone else influence me, then how could you let somebody else influence you? You know, the one thing I find interesting is we go around as human beings letting other people dictate how we feel and act. You know, it's very interesting. If you ever want to see it, true, plain fact is go to work and if you work with somebody who's not a good boss, you can see how much of an influence they have on certain people because they start to work less, they start to get angry, the work environment's not as good, but you can see how we are dictated as humans into reacting how other people push us. You know what I'm saying? People want to give us that, that, that feedback and we want to give them feedback. One thing I suggest you do is don't give them that feedback because it's going to make you the stronger, more valuable person. It's going to make you feel like the stronger person, especially, you know, I always wanted to be a stronger person when I was young. And if I had not known that being the stronger person was to not say a word, to just keep letting it play or just keep letting the play go on or keep letting work go on, I would have done it a long time ago, but I was too silly and too dumb to realize that sometimes being the smart man means that you say nothing. You know, they say the smart man's the quietest one in the room and the dumb man's the loudest one in the room, although it seems the different. One thing that helped me extremely in dealing with people and dealing with how people spoke to me is being called to a higher purpose. You know, what comes with being called into a higher purpose is not caring what other people think anymore. Because when you're so determined to get to that higher purpose, when you're so determined to get to that place that you know you can be, no words can hurt you anymore. Because you're this man on a mission. You're like a train that's unstoppable. You're like a, like, you're like a car that can't be stopped, like a tank almost. You know, words used to penetrate my soul deeply. They used to really affect me and they used to get really bothered by what people say. I used to let people influence me. I used to let people say what they had to say and I would get discouraged by what people had to say. But now being called to a higher purpose, now being called to something that I should be going after, words don't hurt me anymore. And it's a very interesting thing because I always was one to be very reactive, but now being called to that higher purpose, it's not. I'm not as reactive. I'm not as willing to give in to the, the hate comments. I'm not as willing to give in to the arguments. I'm not as willing to give in to what other people have to say about me. And I think if you want to become enlightened of a sorts, if you want to become someone who is stoic, and if you want to become somebody who is not effective and is not as reactive as they once were, find your purpose in life. Find your calling. Find what you're out here to do. Find what God's put you on this earth to do. Because if you can find what God's put you on this earth to do, how could you ever be stopped by what some mortal man says? Go down below and hit that subscribe button. It costs you nothing. It's completely free. If you enjoy what I'm doing, I would greatly appreciate it if you just took the time to go down below and hit the subscribe button. If you want to join a community today where we're all trying and executing on getting better, I suggest you do it. It costs you nothing. It's free. Don't be a stranger. Don't be shy. Come down below and hit the subscribe button.